What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. With the first day of winter, just a few days ago, the nights and the mornings have been extremely cold, and it only means that my heater has to work overtime just to try to keep up. But today we're going to solve that issue by finishing off the box by installing a rear wall. And the best way that I have figured out how to make this wall is to make one panel for here one panel for this side here, and then something along the top right here, and then installing a door. But of course I have to make a frame on the other side of this frame here in order to support the wall, but still gain access to my basement or garage. So let's start taking some measurements and then cutting up some lumber and seeing what we got. And of course, I roughly sketched out some plans for this rear wall, as well as the door. So the first thing I'm going to get started on is the lower part right here of the, the frame. I'm going to be using a one by four, just like I did here, just to give it a lower profile in order to be able to still access my compartments down here. Okay, now that I've gotten this frame all completed and it is all screwed in, I still have access to my basement storage there. So now the next thing to do is actually start constructing the wall. And I'm gonna start on this side here. I'm gonna frame out a section and then we're gonna slip it in and then screw it in. All right, so I have the first wall, first part of the wall framed out. I have some eighth inch Luon plywood on the inside. So now the next thing to do is to paint the inside of this wall and to screw it down to the frame and to the side and to the top. That's what the top looks like. So the color that I got for this is UFO gray. I'm trying to keep the gray theme going. It's more modernized, plus it's not too dark like black, but it's also 
not too light like white. All right, so let's paint this wall. All right, so now that I've got the wall painted and I got the gap correct, this is where my dresser is going to go. I got everything lined up, so the next thing to do is to screw it in. Okay, so now this side of the wall is just about done. It's framed out. The eighth inch Luan plywood is attached and it's painted as well. The only other thing I gotta do is put the insulation in, but we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna work on the other side and do the same thing we did here over there. couch is in the way I'm gonna paint this outside and then install it all right so I have this side of the wall painted it's not fully dry but that's dry enough let's install it into the box Okay, so now we have both of the sides of the wall installed. Before we install a door in this area here, I've got to make one more piece that'll actually go up here because the door is not going to be able to open because of this top part right here. So let's do that real quick and then we will make the door. And today is the next day. Last night I put a piece in at the top there and connected it together with the other two parts of the wall. And I also made this door and put it on hinges as well. It got dark pretty quick last night. So I wasn't able to film. Well, I tried to, but it didn't really come out so great because I don't really have a lot of good light out here. I did not put a handle on it just yet or a latch or anything like that and to open and close it it is actually kind of tight so I still have to go to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or something to get a, a wood planer so that I could shave some of this there we go I also went ahead and put in this insulation. This is one inch thick XPS foam. The same thing that I've been using on other builds. And I did two layers, so that's two inches of XPS foam on this back wall. 
and last night it got down to about 32 33 degrees and my heater actually shut off and you know cycled at 75 so that's that's a win the true test will be next weekend when the temperatures drop to the lower 20s the last thing I did last night was make these one by four trim pieces and I painted them black. As you can see, everything has been painted with that UFO gray, which looks phenomenal. And those black one by fours, I was gonna put around here and on the top and then down here on the other side. And I'm just gonna use that as a door stop. So when I close the door, it doesn't come any further into the box. And also, if you notice, the light spots in between each of these 1x4s on the ceiling. I'm not going to address that today in this video, but that will be dealt with with foam, sponge, something, some kind of insulation that I could stuff up in there. I have some stuff that I can use, so I'll put that in at some point. So I got my couch pulled out so that I can access this side. I'm gonna to try to see how dry those one by fours are and install them. And finally, I installed the one by four trim around the door. Well, that's gonna be all for this video of the Rebuild the Box series, part 10. I'm really happy with the way this wall and this door came out. And I'm really happy with the way this wall transforms the look of the inside as well as the outside as well. And even though I don't like the cold weather a whole lot, I can't wait to try this out next weekend when the temperature goes to the lower 20s. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I appreciate all the love and support, and drop your thoughts and comments down below. With all that being said, see you next time. Going for a car ride.